Oh, yep. Challenge in the form of a complex mathematical equation which has baffled our company's top accountants and physicists for the past two years. What is it? My alimony settlement. So X represents... Number of Y. And the 27 to 15? Their age range. Then that squiggly thing must be... Yes. Mississippi. <laughs> what do we get if we solve it? I'm going to make you the same offer I made to the company's top accountants and physicists. <laughs> the afternoon off. <laughs> Meeting adjourned. Oh, before I forget, I need people to sponsor me in a charity walk. The March Against Feline Toxicosis. What's feline toxicosis? It's a disease that causes narcolepsy in cats. Don't cats just sleep most of the time anyway? Making it that much harder to diagnose. <laughs> I forgot to factor in my kids. Pfizer? Uh, Already on it, sir. <laughs> You're relaxed, focused, self reliant. <laughs> oh, thank you too much, Adam. See you next week. Sir, you better come see this. Well, what is it? Somebody solved the equation. You're kidding. Who? I don't know. Uh, better be me, that's for damn sure. I'm the damn lead. I get the best stuff? No. No, not the man boy. Remember the man boy. Save the setup lines for the man boy. Hey, buddy. Thanks for the gig. You know, it's good to be in front of the camera again. Hey, what are friends for her? Yeah. <laughs> Who is responsible for this? Delaney, was it you? One may. Pizer, was it you? Is it ever? <laughs> I have a package for a Tim Deal. Oh. I just heard. Where's this brainiac you've been hiding from me, Deal? I'm afraid his identity remains a mystery, sir. Let's see how he does with something a little more difficult, shall we? Right. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Peter Baines, and I make a million dollars a year. I have three houses, three cars, and two horses. How many wives? Just one. You maverick, you. Presently, 43% of my exorbitant income goes to pay for our national defense, education, health care, parks, and infrastructure. So what's the problem? I don't want it to. <laughs> Whoever can find a legal way for me not to pay any taxes will receive an instant promotion to management. I'd be perfect for management. You. You're cold, mean, vindictive, and have utter contempt for anyone beneath you. What's your point? Well, don't we get team up? <laughs> Mr. Baines? Yes, Miss Cosgrove? I was wondering if you'd be willing to sponsor me in the March Against Feline Toxicosis. Why, Miss Cosgrove, that's... Presumptuous? Laughable? Pathetic? My favorite charity. And I pledge $100. Oh, my God, don't me. Oh, that is so generous of you. I'm going to 
run home, wake up my kitties, and tell them the good news. Then I'm going to wake them up again. <laughs> You're the one solving the equations? Matt! I thought you went home. No, I forgot my briefcase. Wait, I don't understand, Val. Why didn't you say anything? You could have had the afternoon off. <laughs> this is fun for me. I don't need a reward. Wait until Tim finds out you're the one getting the promotion. He's not going to. Matt, I want you to promise me you're not going to say anything. What? Why not? You wouldn't understand. Try me. I have no interest in climbing the corporate ladder. Making a lot of money holds no attraction for me. Come on, try me. <laughs> Matt, being a secretary allows me to pay my bills and still have a life. Oh, but don't you aspire to be more than just a secretary? Why? I see what the stress and long hours does to you guys. Me, I leave every day at 5 o'clock. And I don't sacrifice my health and personal relationships in the quest for the almighty dollar. I know this must sound like sacrilege to you. No, not sacrilege. It's just that... The свидания нет. Vodka comrade, да? Look, Val, not many people were born with your God-given talents. Don't be afraid to cash in on it. You know, management's the one making all the money anyway. Why shouldn't you? You know, if I were you, I would set my price, and if it wasn't meth, I wouldn't show up to work. Probably sound like an opportunist. No. Not an opportunist. It's just that... Look, you only have a certain amount of earning years. You've got to take advantage while you can. You're not a role model. <laughs> Look, Matt, there are just so many other things that I would rather do with my life. Like tonight, I have an astronomy meeting. I didn't know you were into that. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, when I was a kid, my dad used to let me stay up late, and he'd point out all the constellations. It's one of my favorite childhood memories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My father used to point out all the Korean-owned liquor stores. <laughs> wow. Where'd this come from? Mr. Bates had it sent down as a small token of his appreciation for whoever it was who solved the problem. Do you have any idea of the beautiful women that would still reject me if I had this car? 